Literally after he made this video, we sat down and watched it on the couch together and cracked up. I mean, I just cracked up. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies. So this video, some of you may have seen on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel a long, long time ago. I have decided to bring it over to this channel because one, if you haven't met my husband, you get to meet him. And number two, he doesn't look like this at all anymore. Now he has like long hair and a man bun. But anyway, um, a long time ago, I think it's been about a year, maybe more, he had reached out to me while he was at work and said, hey, I just picked up this stuff on the curb. And I'm like, will you do a video? And he's like, a video. And he decided to do a video. So this video is all him. And it got a lot of feedback. And it wasn't great feedback. <laughs> um, some of it was good, but some of it was like, oh my goodness, like, you're just, like, not being gentle with that glass. You're giving me anxiety and things like that. Um, nothing too negative. But you will see that he's just kind of carelessly going through these boxes of items that he picked up curbside. Uh, there is one item that I listed and sold. It was the Peacock, like, I don't know what it was, like, I don't know if it was a hand warmer or what it was, but I did sell that. I don't remember what it sold for. It was not in good condition. If you can find those in good condition, they can sell for decent money. I think the rest of the stuff is, I'm sad to say, just sitting in our garage. I asked him tonight, I'm like, do you remember that video you did? Do you still have that stuff? And he's like, I don't know, it might be in the garage. So um, yeah, it might be in the garage. How funny is that? Just sitting in the garage. Anyway, um, if you would like to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. My husband has a very, um, somebody called it dry. I call it hilarious. He cracks me up. Literally after he made this video, we sat down and watched it on the couch together and cracked up. I mean, I just cracked up and it's been kind of a stressful day today. I'm just going to admit that. And I decided to bring this video back. I'm going to do some edits and um, I'm going to put it on this channel for you guys to watch. So you can see I'm going to pop up some comments from some of the, my regular viewers and uh, it'll just be kind of fun. And you guys can meet my husband if you haven't already. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. The rest of the video is all him. Whoa, some premium bananas. All right, guys, this is what I got. Hello, Bolo Buddies. This is a special edition of Bolo Buddies with the Bolo Bro. I'm a bit of a picker myself. And today, while I was driving around to different jobs, I saw some stuff on the curb. So, as any good picker would do, you turn around and you pick it up. So I grabbed three boxes of junk and I didn't have time to look through it. So I'm gonna look through it with you guys. So let's go ahead and do this and see how it goes, see what I found. I did notice some glass on the top, so not too excited about that, but we'll see if maybe something a little better is in there. So let's see how this goes. Looks like your typical glass stuff. That ladder was is not. So let's start picking through this stuff and see what, what we got here. I think this might be a Fabergé or something. I mean, that's beautifully crafted. Let's see here, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, e O. I can't read this. Pro, bro, I can't even. 
Looks like it says Brody or Brody Company. I don't know. More of this stuff. Who knows? USA. They had a $2 sticker on that one. It was a candle thing, but no, maybe a flag pole holder. It's iron, heavy duty. A little wooden, possibly wooden stand. Some kind of clay but pot. Number six or number nine. There you go. Don't say a thing on it. Don't noise mean anything. Cause it could be something. Silver plate. Candle holder. Whoa, we got, oh my golly. I think this is worth it right there, peace. Solid iron, solid steel piece necklace. Let's just take a look at this. Oh, it's broke. Kinda excited for a minute, I was gonna wear that to work tomorrow. Another little bottle. That's that Cellini craft again. Hand rot. Never heard of it. Maybe that goes with that tray I found earlier. A little coaster. What do we got here? Everlast forged. Forged aluminum. Oh, I thought that was a candle for a minute. Huh. Milograph. It's back when you actually used to use like a map. You'd have to want to see how far, how many miles you were in an inch on the map and show you. Oh man. Every working man has to have a six inch adjustable wrench, baby. Holy cow. Oops, it doesn't really work. I got excited for a minute. Thermometer. About 80 degrees, that's, that's about right. Uh, couldn't say what that is. It does have some writing on it though. Can't really tell what it says, but who knows. All right, that's the first box. So I'm gonna transfer the stuff from this box to this other box. So let's see what we got here. What do we have here? Oh man. There's a thermometer up there. Look at that. This looks like that reverse painted glass. Greetings from Reed Importing Company, New York and San Francisco. It's broke in the corner, of course. 1937. Holy cow. That thing costs... Man, those aren't expensive at all, but it'd be kind of cool from the 1930s if it wasn't broke. We got here Por uh, porcelain sconce, I think they're called. Would have been on the side of the wall, and then you screw your light bulb in there. That's kind of cool. Somebody restoring an old house or something wants that look.
whoa, they even threw out the salt. Little uh, leaf. that was used for some kind of heavy glass what's that say there perfection cooler company Michigan City Indiana who knows what the heck that is some kind of looks like it has like oil residue in there so maybe held some kind of oil or something has a valve on it oh yeah no namer a nice belt don't know much about that never seen one could be uh could be real brass there, I don't know. Somebody's name on there. A little frosted dish. Another no namer. I got too much glass, man. There you go. That's actually kinda different looking never seen one like that where did this come from oh my gosh I found gold 22 carat scrape back gold dust off I might get make 50 cents off that what I'm saying another uh, no, that's got some kind of mark but who knows what that is anybody I can't even tell can't see it Found it. There. G. I don't know. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Beautiful blue dish. What's the sticker say? Aqua. Two twenty-five. Glad they told us it was Aqua. I would have never guessed. All right. What else we got? Pretty old looking. Whoa, why would that be on the underside? Oh, it's a lid. Duh. I thought that was some kind of little thing. It's a lid. It looks like that's printed. It's not hand painted. Who knows? Little glass, unmarked. Another one, goblet, some type. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm sure some of these lids go to something in here. Yeah, a bunch of glass. Oh, there's a, there you go. Another one with the, holy cow, this has the pull chain on it and an outlet. It's like a multi-function. A dual function. Are they really old or are they just uh, Paulding? Says cat 1760, but don't think that's true. Huh. Pretty cool looking. It's nice to have more than one if you find somebody dumb enough to buy it, right? And buy two. And another glass junk. $25? Are you seeing this? Or is that two for five? That can't be 25 Candy jar. Candy jar that's pressed with all the marks and everything. There's no way. I can't imagine that. Whoa, it's actually really heavy. $15! Oh, that's for a pair. That is heavy. I almost wonder if that's crystal eh. it's thick put it that way it's thick probably not crystal 
50th anniversary, 1933 to 1983. Who's that by? Might be Anchor Hawking. It's kind of hard. Yeah, Anchor Hawking. I don't know if that's an anniversary date for their company or maybe it was an anniversary for whatever came in that. Another highly sought after, whoa. Highly sought after, right? Put a candle in the middle and put your little M&Ms around the edge. I'm about sick of looking at this glass junk. Let's see. No mark. Uh, nope. I know marks don't always mean anything. Now wait a minute. We got some sets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At three dollars a piece? That's twenty-one dollars, guys. That no one ever paid. Whoa. Little coasters, Japanese. Japanese coasters. Same thing. Kind of cool. That's another lid to something. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not it either. All right, more glass, more glass. Who knows what that says? What do we have here? One dollar. Come on, man. I mean, green. Green sells for more than a dollar, I think. All right, so might not have. Oh, there's that other. There you go. It's fifteen dollars. These are heavy. These are heavy. I might clean one up just to drink out of it. Just to say I did. Alright, so now the one in the back, which is... I gotta, like, one-handed move junk out of the way to get the other one up here. Alright. Oh, no. There that went. Just broke all that. I didn't think this through. How in the world? How do you guys do this with one hand holding... You gotta hold on. Oh no. Just, just knocked over the puzzle. Not the puzzle. That, I am gonna try to do this puzzle. It's gotta be worth at least $2.50 if all the pieces are there. It'd be worth my time, right? Spend five hours doing it for $1.50. $2.50. Or do you just sell it as is and say, hey, no guarantees. As is, no returns. All right. I'm getting like a, all the spreads and junk all caught up in it. Oh, my word. Now we got tape measure. Oh, my word. We got strings everywhere, making like a stinking web over here. All right, let's forget this stuff and scoot this. This has got to be the winner back box, guys. This is the winner. Whoa. This has got to be the winner. You always save the best for last, right? Another little serving dish tray thing there you go it just looks like royalty no marks what do we have here huh. that's kind of cool a glitter like a little glitter box please be money Please be full of my... Oh. Yeah, that's weird. What is it, a rain... Goes with your rain jacket, like a waterproof purse? Maybe not. 
cool box, huh? Little glitter in there. Thought I found the money somebody threw away. Now that's actually kind of cool looking. Japan again! Wait a minute. Did I read that upside down? Does that say Japan or me many? Manny? It's like a blue cross or something and Manny. Anybody know what that brand is? Let me know. It's actually pretty, pretty decent looking. Yes, and that, oh, that's an old camera. Shutter, or I don't know what they're called, not shutters, I don't know, a, a filter? Looks like an old camera filter, maybe, that like slid those old wood frame, wood frame cameras and they'd slide down. Kind of has a broken hinge or something on there. Oh. Basket. Whoa got some steel here well it's engraved it's this hand engraved guys wait a minute can you see that looks like they used a little engraver to do something in there s h india 110 i don't know who s h india 110 is but they probably ran the machine that made this and we got some lidage four dollars it did not sell at the garage sale it's not bad whoa. whoa looks like some pretty old playing cards there oh man the mice got to them chewed up the joker we got the man the men and the women Look like they're pretty darn old. Um, not sure. Nice. Oh, is this gold? Did we find more gold rim stuff? Let's see. Nope. Not the gold. Uh oh. What do we have here? Some more steel. Ohio dog tag 1969 Stark good old Stark he was a good boy he was a good doggy all right so we got Japan again CI huh I don't know if that was a mistake right there or what actually pretty good shape no chips or it's not bad Another one here. Looks like a little baby. Baby to the mommy. Oh no. That means we're missing the lid. Let's see if that's in there. I'd have to make it worth at least two dollars with the lid. Oh no. This poor girl got a looks like a bee nest made on her. Oh, it says made in Italy. Anything from Italy is at least worth five bucks, right? I mean, it's Italian. Come on. It's got to be worth something. Got some faux fruit here. What? That's weird. What are they peeking out from under? Is this like one of those Avon cologne perfume bottles? Or is it really a lantern, it, like an old lamp? I think that might be legit. Huh. Kind of damaged, but it looks kind of neat. Whoa. Got some heavy, heavy junk here. Hmm. 
another cup. That looks like crystal, maybe. Maybe might be cut crystal. Is that how you put out your candles so you don't burn your fingers off you just set rest that over a candle that's burning and then you let pick it back up I just made that up guys but maybe I'm right so let me know if I'm right oh my oh my two love birds pink flamingos the original package and the tag number 12 part party something birthday decorative who would want these on their birthday all right we're about getting down to the bottom here here's a manly there's a manly tool saw blade I mean, I, I hope I didn't bring any mice home in this because I'm seeing some mice, mice issues down here. There you go. Looks like a rooster looking peacock bird of prey. No markings. Piece of gold right there. Whoa. This has got some tintage. It's got some pizzazz. I'm thinking 50 cents at least. It might take me a year or two to sell it, but whoa. This just keeps getting better. A peacock. Cigarettes can be lighted? Wow. You can even light cigarettes with this thing. Look at this. Original little made in Japan. Wait a minute. Yeah, Japanese original. How do you guys do this with one hand? I want to see this peacock. Whoa. All right. I, this is ridiculous. Japan. Japanese. Japan. Awesome. Peacock. Very nice. Nice can do. Oh. That's actually pretty darn sweet. Nothing like a fire in your pocket. I think that might... I might have to hold on to that for a little bit. That's not bad. Can't put it back in with one hand. There's no way. Alright, got some more plate edge here. Himes Fair. 1968 Japan again. Whoa, they had $3 on that bad boy. World's Fair in San Antonio. Huh. Pretty cool. Oh, well, I think we found some gold. This has got to be gold, I can tell. Nope. Darn it. It's one of those faux gold pieces, man. Got me all excited. There's a nice delicate piece. That actually, I don't know why that kind of just feels so delicate. It's pretty cool. Drink your tea in that. And there's another little one. I don't know why those just have that a nice feel. Probably junk. Tape measure. Oh yeah, can measure some stuff out with that. Two dollars did not sell. All right, we got some plates here again. 1814, you think that's the date? Heishen, Heishen, Ter, Mohemburg, Germany. Sounds German to me. 
1814, if that's, that's probably when the factory was founded. No way. Man, I like seeing at least marks on the bottom of these things. I don't know what they mean, but M and Z, MZ, Austria. I don't know what that says. F Favory Rosie, Rose. Maybe she's the one that painted it, or that's the design of the thing. Oh, man. Oh, it says spring gold. I thought it said 22K gold, baby. Didn't get lucky on that. Lido, Lido, W.S. George. Canary, ta Canary Tone, made in U.S. A. 50 cents didn't even sell. What happened to glass these days? No wonder people throw it on this. There's some nipping. I've heard of that. I think that's Japan as well. Hand painted nipping. Oh man. That's got a damage mark. That's, that's not. That would have been worth at least 50 cents. Now we're talking about five. Alright, here's another mark. Can't read it. Made in Japan, hand painted, and it has Japanese marks. Kind of like those Japanese marks. Makes you feel like it's from some dynasty. Ching or Dong. One of those Ming. Nothing. That's a capital, Washington, D.C. Who wants that? Another one. That's a plate or a bowl for that same. I can't. J Hor Hortaki? Never heard of it. Actually looks kind of cool. It'd be nice to have a whole set. We got some little stuff down here. It's like some kind of chip to a game. We got some. There's a hole through that. So that could be an old smoking pipe from the 1650s. I don't know. Some matches. That's always good. Funeral home of all places. You always want to smoke at a funeral. Some more glassage with no marks. What is that? Oh, I got upside down. Vic Victoria? Austria? Austria? What's up with this Austria stuff? Austria. It's got a chip. There's the pepper shaker. They didn't leave the pepper in that one. Here's a rat's nest. They eat everything up. That's cool. Uh, not really sure on that one. What that's for. Yeah. That's another one of those steam plates. What? Oh, golly. That's what you do with one hand. You can't do this with one hand. Oh, my gosh. Did I just literally crack that? This had to be the, the money hole right here. I mean, it's got flowers on it. It's frosted. Thankfully, it looks like there used to be a sticker on it. Probably said Avon. So, oh man, you got a Switzerland Thorin's Movement music box. Oh man, it must be missing the lid again. Let's see if this bad boy works. Come on, baby. Come on, oh man. We got her wound. Come on. Nope, no luck. I think I'm about ready to wrap up here. Got some Iowa where the where the tall corn grows, man. State capital, Des Moines. And Japan? Another Japanese. That's pretty good too. We got some shriveled up. 
Those don't look too good. Another fake stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Are they maggots? I don't want to know. We're about done here, guys. Ooh, there's... Oh, golly, man. Stickerage. No clue. I think that matches that other set I found earlier. Oh, man. This might be the president's mug. That's got to be. It looks really professional. I think that was Carter's. President Carter's mug. And... Oh, wow. We found a 13243RB. I was hoping to come across one of those. Nice crow flight. Typical... Oh, oh my gosh. The President's plate. He ate off his plate. Oh my word. Handcrafting, oven proof, dishwasher safe, Salem, Ohio. And then it says Japan on it. That's kind of weird. I bet that sticker fell off something else. Hopefully, we have something good here. Beautiful mug. Hall Company with. A little chip right there. Beautiful. Oh, that's a lid. Okay. Don't know. A plastic little tray. Newspaper. Looks like we got a blue bottle. That's kind of pretty. It says something on there. Made in USA. Genuine Phillips. Nice blue bottle. And we got the thread. Looks like we got into a sewing kit here. Maybe some zipper things or something. More paper. Beautiful glass tray. Like a bunch of different yarn. I have I get put by a needle here. We got threads and yarns and sewing apparatuses. This it's kind of cool looking actually. Don't know what it says, handmade by some probably some ninth grader or something. Looks pretty cool though. All right, A plastic lid, 20 elegant cards. Another glass lid, five dollars. Mm, looks like a candle holder. What do we have here? In this series, Snow White, Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, and Three Little Pigs. Wow, 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. So, if it's 300 pieces, I'm guessing there's about 298 pieces in there. Oh, here's another series. That's the Three Little Pigs one. Might be, uh, have to try to put that together. Let's see if we got anything. Whoa, now that looks like something special. Anytime you see someone's head, I mean, that's got to be something, right? Mm. Uh, Pyrex. I'm going to run out of room to throw all this stuff. A 
tray, and it is not anything special, I don't think. Salini Craft. Hand wrought. Does say hand wrought on there, so it might be something handmade. Washable silk tag. And empty box. careful with that thing. Talk about some pins. Wow. Somebody like to sew. Checks pocket trivia. All right, that'll be fun. He just 12 and up. Can't go wrong with that. A little envelope here. Nothing in it. Another little lid it has a hole in it. Might be like an incense or something. Plastic cup. Probably not going to get too deep into this. It's like more sewing stuff and yarn and threads. And... Ooh. Nice vintage floss. Can't go wrong with that. Look at that. Alright, let's some of this paper here. Oh no. Hope we didn't just break this valuable glass. Oh, an old phone phone cord. Back when the phones used to plug into the wall. Another beautiful lid. I mean look at that. band oh there's some puzzle pieces so wait a minute I think we just found oh no we didn't oh maybe we found something there but that's not that does not go on there another glass lid I'm going to put this stuff over here what's Doesn't look like anything. Broken knife. Heavy duty whittled piece of wood. Wow. Japan. Japanese hand. Feels like it's hand painted, it's textured. Ooh, they had a $15 sticker, guys. <whistles> that might be the jackpot right there, guys. $15. Well, of course, it didn't sell for that. Didn't sell at all. Another lid, no name. China. Can't go wrong with a china copper looking plate. Some patina. All right, guys. Looks like uh, this was my trash find of the day. Uh, sitting at the side of the road, and hey, it didn't cost me anything, even if I got one cool item. I think this puzzle will be fun to maybe put together in all my spare time, you know, because most people have so much time on their hands. Nothing better to do than build a puzzle. So that's my find, guys. Absolutely free, and I might make 50 to 60 cents on this deal, I'm guessing. Maybe a dollar from Lockie. But hey, that beats nothing, right? So, hope you enjoyed the Bolo Bro Hour, and we might have another one if this was even worth doing, guys, uh, if I ever do this again. If anyone watches it and likes it and subscribes and all that jazz, maybe I'll do this again. Alright.
right, that's it for the day. Have a good one. All right, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And yes, he was a little rough with the glass. Please forgive him. Um, I'm kind of the same way. I am not a huge fan of breakables, but as I'm watching this back, like, I don't know, what is it, a year and a half, two years later, I'm looking at some of this stuff and I'm like, wow, some of that stuff really had some potential. Um, I don't know a whole lot about glass because I have a tendency to stay away from it because I don't like to ship it. But some of that stuff was kind of cool. Let me know if you saw anything in the video that you thought was worth selling. I think it might still be in the garage. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we can definitely look for it if you guys see something that has potential. I know I did pull out the one um, thing in the beginning that I said I was going to bring to whatnot. I pulled that out a long time ago and cleaned it up. I actually had um, planted something in it for a while because I was like, I pulled out a couple things. And I'm like, I'm going to plant some stuff. Well, um, the plants <laughs> didn't make it. So I have the pretty pot or planter or whatever it is. So I'm going to bring that to whatnot. If you guys are not following me on whatnot, definitely do that. My link is down below. If you use that referral link, you will get $15 to shop on whatnot. That is my referral link. So um, I would greatly appreciate it if you use it. Um, if you want to see my husband do more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Um, there are a few other videos I've had him join in with me, and I will try to remember to link those in the description of the video, but he's got uh, a different type of sense of humor, and some of you will like it, and some of you will hate it, probably kind of like some of you like me, and some of you hate me. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.